Alright everybody, welcome to Assassin's Creed 3, Episode 2. <laughs> Only a handful of you watched Episode 1, so I haven't really gotten any word from anyone as to improvements to make to my videos, so here we go. And you're in store for the epic conclusion to the boat ride to America. It's really quite epic. get to be the captain's little bitch and go about stopping a mutiny. Quite excellent stuff, I'd say. Ah, fiddling with the menus. It's the best part of any game. Mmm, tinned fish and biscuits, those are my favorite. Boy, no one likes you on this ship. Only because you can kick their ass any time or day of the week. So it looks like Lewis Mills is going to be our informant on the boat, seeing as how the good doctor does not want to get involved.
chance of something is lurking about the ship in the shadows. But what we're not certain. I just love how the uh, guy at the wheel just doesn't give a shit. You're like, what's that? And he's just like, no, 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 I'm just driving the ship. I don't give a shit what happens on the ship. It's not right that you should feast on lamb and wine. <laughs> Maybe the guy uh, directing the ship had to take a sloop. Captain, turn him away. Hmm, powder on the barrels. Should we go L.A. Noir on this case and try to figure it out? No, oh, no, you're doing it wrong, Hathen. You got to just twist the object in your hand repeatedly. Curious. Ah, shit, you're better Most than curious. Illinois detectives. Something on this ship just doesn't add up. Quite the base thing you gave Graves and Quill. Wasn't by choice. Aye. Blockheads, the both of them. Where are my manners? Louis Mills. Pleased to meet you. Atham Kenway. So, should I be watching my back? I think the boys learned their lesson. They're normally not so nasty. Honest, it's just the past few crossings have been a bit... rough. Oh? Captain's trying to cut costs, reduce rations, lower wages, more dangerous cargo. It's put the crew on edge. Is there cause for concern, then? Not if I can help it. But the captain needs to think about the way he treats his men. God, aren't the crewmen just great singers? Hey, oh, hey, oh, hey. They almost sound like Native Americans, which you'll get to see later, as a matter of fact. Since Connor is indeed native. Oh! Dear Diary, I caught the helmsman at the steer, taking a sloop into the ocean. Giant bears went slosh 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 into the ocean. Ah, she's a beauty. The water's pretty beautiful, too. Ship looks nice, sexy. Any news? Each night it's the same. I scout one area, and they drop the painted barrels from another. I'm going to need to recruit an extra pair of eyes. Maybe James or Mills. Why are they doing this? Near as I can tell, the barrels serve as markers. They're leaving a trail. My fear is it's only a matter of time before whoever's following it. Ship sighted aft! She's making ready to fire! Oh, what Feet do you know? There's the men. ship that's been ready following them. us. Brace! Everybody down! A warning shot! Seems they don't mean to sink us, but board us instead! Man the cannons! Make ready to fight! I want you below decks. Why? Let me help you secure the ship. Do you know how to rig a sail? To load a cannon? To wage war at sea? I didn't think so. Now return to your cabin. Or do I need to have you escorted?
Well, Captain ain't too happy Secure with Hatham either. Hatham. Have you been topside? A ship's appeared and means to board us. It's strange. There's no sign of mutiny aboard. Doesn't make sense. Ah, but it does. What do you mean? Did you think you could escape from London so easily after what you did at the opera? That we wouldn't notice? That we wouldn't after follow? you? Ah. Plot twist. So that's what this is about. Surrender, and I will see that you are treated with honor. If you wish to treat me with honor, give me a sword. Are you sure this is how you want to play it? I love how someone yelled, don't let him escape, well who the fuck's talking? <laughs> this isn't the standard battle game with guards. Barrel finish. <laughs> I just love how he's like, I'm still alright. Oh fuck, I'm dead. I told you to stay below decks. I did as you asked. Only Mills was there waiting for me. He's the one that drew that ship here. There was no mutiny. Only him. What do they want? Me. Then they can have you. Is that so? You'll catch us anyway. There's nothing to be done. I can think of something. You wish us to sail into the storm? It's our only chance. I won't do it. <sighs> then I will. All right. All right. Jeez, threaten the captain. Fix your sail for you. Oh, now Hathen knows how a ship works. Just gonna tie down the ropes and make it all good. Alright.
suck to be that guy in the storm. <laughs> It's almost impossible not to save him. But I wonder if the time runs down if he would actually follow his death. Not that it has any impact in the story whatsoever, just be interesting. Dear diary, this has been the longest fucking journey I've ever had in my life. I wish to never be on a boat for this long again. Make ready for our arrival, men! Arrival? I see no land, only this interminable fog. The gulls tell us all we need to know. Climb into the crow's nest and you'll see. One thing I don't get is I don't think I ever noticed that little bell tower thing there. Although it could have been there the whole time, I could have just been spacing out. And welcome to America. Ah, and welcome to the Boston Docks. Famous landmark of the soon-to-be Boston Tea Party. Yes, may I help you? Charles Lee, sir. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. I've been asked to introduce you to the city, help you settle it. Oh, no need, sir. I've arranged for your bags to be delivered to the inn. And Charles Lee is also a predominant John historical figure. I'm sure many of you remember him from back in the Revolution times, Continental Army not there's a little bit of background there to read and he is a important figure in the game so you'll be seeing a lot more of Charles Lee
one and the same. Your commission is with Edward Braddock, is it not? Aye. But he's yet to reach America, and I figured I might... Well, at least until he arrives, I thought... Yes? Out with it? Forgive me, sir. I had... I had hoped that I might study under you. If I am to serve the Order, I can imagine no better mentor than yourself. Kind of you to say, but I think you overestimate me. Impossible, sir. This way. Uh-oh, a little kid just ran away with an apple. Or a tomato. Or whatever it is that fell on the ground. <laughs> Could have been a moldy piece Boston's of fruit. quite a lively city. There's all manner of things to see and do. Once you've settled in, I suggest you take some time to walk the streets. Who knows what opportunities you might discover. Hold a moment. We need to fetch a few things before we get to work. I'll arrange for horses while you do that. Ah, markets. <laughs> My favorite thing to read about in the Animus. Not really. Those markets are obviously just markets, but hey. It's also kind of funny because in some of these entries, uh, Sean, I think his name is, he's British, so he talks about um, his viewpoint of the American Revolution, which isn't, of course, sympathizing with the Patriots. It, he puts his own British side into it sometimes. Just a little biased. Of course, Assassin's Creed never ceases to amaze me with the beautiful cities they can recreate from history. Boston and New York in this game is the uh, biggest cities they've ever made in any of the Assassin's Creed games. And aren't those kids just fucking annoying? They literally just go, We're retards. We're dumb. Give us money. I mean, they're just so fucking retarded. Damn, Spriggs. This accursed city will be the death of me. You seem troubled, friend. That's because I am. Oh, so oh can you guess who it is? What's happened? I was wrong. The old Balkan file. Though I've managed to restore what's mine, I fear it's ruined. You mean the book? This is no ordinary book. It's an almanac. The first I ever wrote. <clears throat> Benjamin Franklin. Pleased to meet oh, you. Oh, it's Benjamin Franklin. Nathan Kenway. You must be new to Boston. Why do you say that? You're still possessed of virtue. <laughs> to stop and help an old lout like myself. I... I don't mean to impose, but... You seem a spry fellow. Should you happen to find my missing pages, I'll reward you. Look, I'm not sure if I... It's all right, all right. If you have the time, hurrah! If not... No harm done. The thing is useless in its current state anyway. But should you somehow manage to restore it, you'll find me inside that general store over there. Well, that was interesting. <laughs> yes, because chasing pages from a almanac is really exciting. Ah, now we can read about Benjamin Franklin. Also another prominent figure from history I'm sure everybody's heard of. A great inventor of many things. 
as well as an advocate for our freedom. And a bunch of other stuff. What do you need, my friend? Ah, Frenchie working in the store. What do you need, my friend? Well, it looks like I need a new sword today. Kind sir. I love how that uh, weapon name is really creative. Normal sword. At least here you get a flintlock pistol, not just a normal pistol. You're not Charles Lee. There's Charles Lee. Right next to my horse. We ride for the Green Dragon Tavern. The proprietors are eccentric, but the rooms are spacious and they do not pry. Have you? Ooh, cut off mid sentence, Hathen, to look at the Fanwell Hall. No idea if that's how you say it, but I said it. I think these entries are always interesting to learn more about historical areas and stuff. And of course it's always cool to actually go and see these places that you've visited in here. <laughs> Although most of the buildings in America have been redone since the olden days. But still.
told why it is I've come to Boston. No, Master Birch said I should know only as much as you saw fit to share. He sent me a list of names and bade me ensure you could find them. And have you had any luck with that? Aye. William Johnson waits for us at the Green Dragon. How well do you know him? Not well, but he saw the Order's mark and did not hesitate to come. Prove yourself loyal to our cause, and you may yet know our plans as well. I should like nothing more, sir. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, 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 so much fun riding horse through town. Yeah, da, 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 da. Oi, you looking for trouble, friend? Ah, the Green Dragon Tavern. The only place to meet in all of Boston. Because literally, if you read the description, that's where everyone meets, so... How no one did not know about any plans back in the day. Could have just spied on the friggin' tavern and found out half the rebels' movements and plans. Well, that's the British for you. Or I should say the Redcoats, they're not smart. Pretty sure the people in charge were fairly smart. Just not the grunts, the meats and potatoes of the army. Stupid horse. <laughs> Getting in my way so I can't get in the door. Lying, cheating, no good son of a bitch. Perhaps we've come at a bad time. Oh, don't be foolish, dearies. Please, sit. Fancy something to eat? A drink, perhaps? Or is it a bed you require? We've already let rooms here. Uh, oh, yes. Uh, of course. Masters Lee and Kenway, uh, was it? Uh, I'll have your bags brought up. <laughs> Get ready for some old school English. It's coming up here real quick. Do you require anything further? Oh, oh, oh. Only privacy. Oh, there it is. Privacy. And thank you for watching, and I'll see you back for next episode three.